Hello everyone and greetings. I am the Elite Sevenfold Gamer here. And I'm going to bring my first gameplay video to my channel. And it's going to be on the PlayStation 2 game of Max Payne. This was a very good game and it was a classic back in the day. So I'm going to return some footage by playing this for you guys onto my channel. <coughs> Alright, so this is going to be the first game that I start with, and this is going to be my walkthrough, playthrough, whatever you want to call it. It's pretty much the same crap. I'll just call it my playthrough then. Alright, so how about we get right into this. I'll try not to talk or gab too much so you can hear the gameplay. Alright, I will be watching cutscenes. Hopefully you guys enjoy. from the trigger and then it was over all right <clears throat> I'll do my best for you guys to make any kind of sense of it I need to go back three years back to the night the pain started all right hopefully all my audience here can read my camera is not the best with quality because the TV is not big enough, whatnot, and a small printing on the letter. So it says American Dream Part One. I was still on the force back then, NYPD, Manhattan, Midtown North Precinct, Hell's Kitchen. So when are you coming to work for me, Detective Payne? You'd make me work undercover in some hell hole. Sorry, Alex. Michelle and the baby come first. See? My last smoke. It's bad for the baby. That's you, Max. A regular Boy Scout. See, Alex. You're still out for poker Thursday night, right? Like taking candy from a baby. Life was good. Sun setting on a sweet summer's day. The smell of freshly mowed lawns, the sounds of children playing, a house across the river on the Jersey side, a beautiful wife and a baby girl. The American dream come true. Honey, I'm home. But dreams have a nasty habit of going bad when you're not looking. The sun went down with practice bravado. Twilight crawled across the sky laden with foreboding. Wish I had a better camera. Michelle, honey, anybody home? I didn't like the way the show started. They'd give me the best seat in the house, front row center. Alright, guys, I'll try not to do too much commentary so that you can enjoy the gameplay more.
<clears throat> Again, this is playthrough, walkthrough, you can call it whatever you want. Most what the likely, hell? I'll most likely just name it playthrough. Something ugly had been tattooed on the wall. A map of things to come. It was a poison syringe, a magic tag full of diabolical meanings. I guess my game's screwing up. He's supposed to be talking right now. That sucks. Okay, there's a shotgun over here. Not much bullets, though. Alright, let's do this shit. That was three years ago. Everything ripped apart in a New York minute. The killer junkies had been high on a previously unknown designer drug, Valkyr, V. After the funeral, I told Alex I'd be transferring to the DEA. It took us three long years to get a break in the Valkyr case. Then, finally, two months ago, a dime dropper tipped us off that Jack Lupino, a mob boss in the Punchinello crime family, was trafficking. I went undercover infiltrated the worst mafia family in New York. Chapter 1, Roscoe Street Station. You probably can't read that. That's why I'm saying it out loud for you guys. <clears throat> I came in from the cold and the dark. Outside the city was a cruel monster. I've been slowly working my way from the small time to the big fish, trying to get to the source of the drug. Alex and BB were my only contacts in the DEA, the only ones in this decrepit city who knew I was down here. BB here. Something urgent has come up with Jack Lupino. You need to meet with Alex immediately at the Roscoe Street Station. I hadn't had a face to face with Alex since I'd gone undercover. Outside, the mercury was falling fast. It was colder than the devil's heart, raining ice pitchforks as if the heavens were ready to fall. Everyone was running for shelter like there was no tomorrow. It didn't get any better when I got to the subway. The feeling hit me like a point-blank shot straight in the face. Something was not right about this. I 
apparatus stirred nervously under my coat, but the train doors had already shut behind me, and I was in for the ride. Next stop, Roscoe Street Station, and Alex. The station was drenched in gloom. Alex was a ghost, nowhere to be seen. I'd have to look for him. Death was in the air at Roscoe Street. I'd have to find Alex fast. Okay. No, let's find him slow. Max. The pills would ease the pain. Wasn't Jake supposed to take care of this? He and Mickey are having too much fun taking care of the cop up there. Oh, hold it! Ah! Ah! Yeah, what now? So much for being subtle. Yeah, I'm just going to read it because my TV sucks and you probably can't see it. So, yeah. Usually he'll say what the chapter name is called somewhere in the storyline. Did you hear something? Nah, take it easy. Hey, uh... Oh, oh. They had ended up in the middle of a big time crime operation. I guess say goodbye. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh, right in the face. Love the slow mo shit. You saved me, man. What's going on here? A massacre. These armed thugs just appear from nowhere. We need to get help. I can make the call from the control room one floor up. Can you take me there? Sure. Sounds good. Follow me. Get out of the way, dude. Oh, come on. Really? Wrong button. Yeah, I haven't, been, I haven't played this in a while. Bear with me, guys. Go for it, come on. Come on, hurry up. 